um, the difficulty is about uh, data integrity is not to record data, is are your data, I would say, reliable? Now we come to one of the most uh, challenging and important parts, the regulatory affairs, right? Today, regulatory uh, confidence depends on traceability, automation, and uh, data integrity. How can the digital infrastructure be built to support compliance and long-term scalability? I think the first part is going back to the process again. Um, the difficulty is about uh, data integrity is not to record data, is are your data, I would say, reliable? That's, that's the key. Going back to human intervention, it's very difficult because, again, you add a risk. Mm -hmm. Automation is to look at, can you remove a human from equation, like I, we mentioned before. From there, you need to be able first to have the proper technology, which can produce. You need to introduce as well PAT technology, which can uh, generate data that you can have, uh, let's say, more confident into your process condition. And from there, you can acquire the data, which is, in a way, at the end, the easier part if you have done the job at the beginning properly. So we have to go back to process. How can you automate the process? How to integrate the proper instrumentation, which will give you valid data? How to record it? And from there, you can build your, uh, I would say, IT infrastructure. Data collection is uh, very important on data acquisition. Uh, when I look at continuous process, semi-continuous process, you are pretty much obliged to do so. In fact, we are de designing facility today where uh, we should be able to operate them without human presence. Let's say some customer asked, I don't want to have a night shift. But that means when you go continuous process, you cannot just uh, stop at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening. You have to run 24-7. And for this, you need to have a high level of automation with safety device on the one to detect any process change also. And through that, effectively, you can have robust process data acquisition. And automation with continuous are totally part of it because through that, you have, again, a very strong, uh, I would say, feedback of your process itself. And that's what regulatory is asking for, nothing else. On what people say, will regulatory accept continuous? For sure, they will be happy because automatically you will have a strong data acquisition on evidence yeah, that your process is run in a proper and constant way. Right. And it is compliant, for sure, right? It's for sure compliant at the end because you can give evidence. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, QBD approach, I think that is much favored, right, when it comes to uh, regulatory and compliance. Mm -hmm. You have to understand what you want to produce, number one. Right. That's why you need to understand well your process requirement. And from there, you can adapt the proper technology to produce. Mm -hmm. When you have done these two steps, you know which parameter has to, is critical for your process. Right. Is it a temperature control? Is it a size of a crystal? Is it whatever is required to guarantee at the end your quality of the product? If you know that well, then you implement at the proper place, the proper instrument, analytical or PAT technology. On the next part is the easy one. Right. You just have to get a proper infrastructure, collect this data, and make it in a safe way. And and, and produce in the safe way as a as a regulator wants. That's about Correct. it. Correct. Right? 